Testing, testing, one, two, and the trois. Okay, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything in relation to the metaverse. Today, very exciting video, as we will be talking about creating some awesome art within virtual reality with Open Brush. But first, guys, do remember that you can enter to win a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP. It will be version two. So they will be the ones who send it to you, as well as a brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station, cyber carpet, cyber chair, and everything that goes with it. And also a third winner will get a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against your Oculus Quest Meta Store or your Vive Board or Steam VR Store. So this is really awesome stuff guys link in the description below as to how to enter and of course as always do make sure to enable your bell and be part of the notification squad after you subscribe as you could be notified as a potential winner mm, all right let's transition over to today's topic which is all about creating some awesome art inside of virtual reality now guys i don't know if you know this but the kings of the kings used to be of course tilt brush until they decided to discontinue Tilt brush. Tilt brush was owned by Google and was discontinued. And what has since happened is some developers have forked Tilt brush into what is called Open brush, which is completely open source and completely free. It is absolutely awesome, guys. It's basically the same as Tilt brush, but without the 20 US dollar price tag to it for being able to download it and use it. So, according to the Twitter feed, if I just go very quickly to Twitter. They actually do do updates quite often. So if I just click type open brush, there we go. Here they are. They are expected to do some updates. They do keep this thing updated quite often. Uh, as you can see on January 9, it's been a fun and busy year for open brush and we're happy. We're happy to announce open brush version 1.0. So this was January 9, but maybe it was no, it was this year, January 9, 2022. But however, uh, it's been on Steam. So if I just go to Steam very quickly, open brush. Steam. It's actually been around for quite a little while, I think uh, since perhaps July or something like that. And basically, yeah, I mean, this is, guys, this is what you can do inside. It's the same as tilt brush, as I mentioned before. Uh, you can draw inside, you can sketch inside, you can create various different things. You can animate uh, certain things. You can download your creations and then upload them in Gravity Sketch. Same as, uh, save them as 3D models, uh, save them as JPEGs to then potentially uh, record on your, uh, to post on your social media. Or you could download it, put it back into Unity, animate certain aspects of it and use the art as part of your game. So this is really, really awesome stuff. And by the way, some of my favorite, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, sorry about that, just had to cough for a second. Uh, so some of my favorite uh, channels on YouTube that relate to this kind of stuff, by the way, uh, I have to say Danny, uh, Bitman, you got to go and check out his channel. He does quite a lot of stuff when it comes to art things. He's got some very good tutorials in there, which I think are really, really awesome to go and check out. Uh, this one here, telling a story with tilt brush silhouette is freaking amazing. Of course, if you have a Pico Neo 3 Pro, you can stream it uh, using the Airstream to Steam, but I have, I have actually uh, gotten in touch with the Pico uh, team and asked them if they could actually put this in the store because, because, let's check this out. Uh, at the moment, if I go back to the Open Brush website, it is available on Steam, on the Oculus Store, also on SideQuest and Viveport as well. And it is completely free, guys. So you can download it from there. So it'd be great if it was also available, of course, on the uh, on the Pico Neo 3 Pro store. That would be absolutely amazing if it was available. So Danny Bitman is one of my favorite channels as well as Anna Dreambrush, of course. Anna Dreambrush, she's a dream with a brush. Absolutely amazing as to what she does. I mean, look at this, guys. Check this out as to what she does. It is absolutely freaking amazing. This woman is hired by everyone all over the world. 
She travels everywhere. Uh, she's done performances in front of hundreds of thousands of people or tens of thousands of people. Uh, she's done things. She's hired by a lot of corporate people to go and do demos uh, during their events. Uh, I mean, this woman is just freaking amazing as what she can do. And also she's very humble, very nice lady. Uh, we didn't, I didn't get to meet her, but I have spoken to her a few times. Just a really amazing person. And you know, her art, the art that she does, I mean, look at this. It's just really crazy as to what she does. Um, if I go to her, some of her other videos that she's done recently, I mean, look at this. And it's all about performance. It's all about dancing as she's doing things. It's all about the music that she chooses while she's doing her videos. Um, you know, and it's just, I mean, look at this. It's just really, really amazing. I love her stuff. Absolutely amazing stuff. You gotta go and check out her channel. And of course, if you go to their channels, please leave a comment in the in the comments to say you came from uh, VR Essentials. Another person drawing and painting, the virtual instructor has a lot of very cool uh, tutorials there. Do go and check out what he does as well. Uh, he doesn't specifically use per se virtual reality, but he uses virtual uh, ways to teach people. And of course, if you want to learn how to draw and all these kind of things, then he's definitely someone to go and check out. It's freaking amazing as to what he does, even though he's not using VR, it's just absolutely amazing. Um, the Sabi Life has some very interesting uh, videos that you can definitely go and check out as well. I uh, definitely recommend, it's definitely worth going to see. Uh, there's definitely some open brush stuff that he has on his channel as well. Um, so, you know, very, very cool kind of thing. Very short kind of videos. Uh, here's another tilt brush. And yeah, there's a lot of things you can learn, including, uh, you know, uh, changing some of the scripts so that your camera will, you can change the resolution of the camera at which you want to take pictures or film within a tilt brush. So I think it's very interesting uh, to learn all these kind of uh, different, different things. And then let me go back. Uh, another person, of course, is Open Brush Will Art um, has actually some good videos there. If I go to his channel, go to his videos playlist. He's got some good open brush videos there that you can go and check out and he's got other things as well. Uh, but I uh, definitely like the, some of the open brush videos that he's done. But my two favorite channels, I have to say, are going to be Danny Bittman. He's got so many things over there and also Anna Dreambrush. Uh, for me, are the two winning channels in terms of, uh, you know, things that you can learn to do things, you know, uh, using these kind of technologies in VR. So guys, this is really what I wanted to, I wanted to talk to you about. Now, there is some news uh, for those who, uh, you know, enjoy to know what's going on on the channel. Uh, let me talk to you as to what's happening on the channel a little bit. First of all, um, I've been approached by a few companies to basically potentially be hired as a community manager. And because uh, VR Essentials may conflict with what they're doing, I may have to rebrand the channel from VR Essentials to another name. Go to the communities tab. Uh, you can access via the channel <clears throat> and vote on the name that you think sounds the best. However, I will do a second vote because someone, and you can also uh, post your own thoughts as to what you think the name of the channel should be, should we decide to change it? Uh, because someone put VR Mix, and honestly, I really do like VR Mix, but at the moment, VR Potato is the winner. So go into the community tab. I'll show you where it is. Let me just uh, show you very quickly. Uh, and then we can say hello to some of the people on the channel at the same time your channel, community, so the tab is here. And then you'll see here, basically, this is uh, where we went. So I'd like to thank everybody for voting. Uh, at the moment, MetaBean 10%, ImmersiveX 15%, XR Reality 17%, and 46% for VR Potato. And you guys have left a lot of comments as well. So let's go and read some of your comments. Uh, COVID Puppy 2 says, I think you should keep VR somewhere in the name as long as your content continues to be a variety of mixed VR platforms. Heck, VR Mix. I really like VR Mix. So guys, what do you think of VR Mix? Um, if it's a part of, and also we are looking for a, a potentially if I'm too busy and I can't be on the channel every day, I'm hoping to do, to do at least one video a week. Um, then, you know, we are looking for a second host to take part and, you know, you'll be paid from the ad revenue that you make from your videos and also from the ad revenue that we make from those videos on that month. So we're, we're basically whatever revenue we make, you'll get to keep if you post at least a minimum of two videos a week 
per month. Um, so Colvin, as I mentioned, uh, Colton, as I mentioned to you, please email us. And guys, if you want to be a second host on the channel, then please email us as well. Geoff Owen says, immersive egg sounds cool, but VR potato sounds awesome. All right, thank you very much. Essential VR, well, I wouldn't be able to use Essential VR or VR Essentials because the names can conflict with whatever opportunity I may decide to take. It's not sure, it's not done deal, but there are three companies who I am talking to about a potential opportunity. Uh, not two, three. Um, Andrew Ho says virtual virtual VR reality. Thank you very much, Andrew, for your uh, for your uh, suggestion. VR explained. NF N7 Alpha. Thank you very much, guys. Leave a comment below what you think about this. A second VR mix, guys. Leave a comment below what do you think of VR mix or VR potato? Because at the moment VR potato is in the lead, but I do like VR mix. Uh, VR verse. Thank you very much, Metatech. I uh, appreciate your, your suggestion. I do like VR verse too. Leave a comment below, guys. Uh, Danny Kajet says, Meta Bean. I, I do like Meta Bean. I do have to say I like Meta Bean, but if it's not the overall winner, can be hard to take it. Guys, leave a comment below. Virtual Matrix says Stella. Thank you, Stella. Guys, what do you think? Leave a comment below if you like Virtual Matrix. And Julian Ward says VR. Ah. Yes, VR. Ah. Especially when you're drawing in VR using open brush. So guys, thank you so much for your comments. I really appreciate it. You guys are so freaking, 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 freaking awesome, as they say. And uh, I'll see you in another video very soon. And please leave a comment, as I mentioned. And guys, do remember, we are giving away a brand new HP Reverb G2 version 2, sponsored by HP, so they'll be the ones sending it over to you. And also a brand new pair of Cyber Shoes, Gaming Station, as I mentioned before, and also a voucher worth 50 US dollars to claim any app, any game, any, any, any game, any, any game whatsoever, any game that you like, that you enjoy on your Oculus MetaQuest store, Steam VR, or Vive Port, and more. All right, guys, see you in the next video very soon. Bye, and good to see you again. Bye.